Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Lately, they have been making a lot of videos on how lithium ion batteries work. So this time we decided to make a video on a different kind of battery, the lead acid battery. These batteries are commonly used in automobiles to supply power to the starter motor, the lights and the ignition. Hence, they get the name SLI batteries. These batteries are much heavier and offer less voltage and capacity than lithium ion batteries of the same weight. As a trade-off, they are much cheaper and resilient to heating conditions. Due to these reasons, they are preferred in automobiles and golf carts. Another advantage of these batteries is that the lead from these batteries can be recycled, which is helpful to the environment as the recycling infrastructure for it is already established. Some manufacturers even provide you with discounts on new batteries when returning the old ones. Their construction is similar to any other batteries. It consists of two electrodes, the electrolyte, separator and the casing. The positive terminal of the battery is made up of lead oxide and pure lead is used for the negative terminal. The electrolyte consists of a mixture of water and sulfuric acid in the ratio of 3 is to 1. When the electrodes are dipped in the electrolyte, the sulfuric acid reacts with the metals. In the positive electrode, the lead oxide reacts with the sulfuric acid and forms lead sulfate and water. The lead sulfate gets a positive charge due to the deficiency of electrons. In the negative electrode, the pure lead also reacts with the sulfuric acid and forms lead sulfate with the release of two electrons, thus gaining a negative charge. Here, we have an imbalance in the charges of the two electrodes. When the battery is connected to an external circuit, the electrons in the negative terminal rush towards the positive terminal through the external circuit, thus inducing current. When the positive and negative electrode is covered in sulfate, no more reactions can take place. This basically indicates that the battery is fully discharged. When the rechargeable battery is connected to an external power source, the same reaction is reversed. The lead sulfate formed on the electrodes decompose and release sulfate, which reacts with the water in the electrolyte bath and again forms sulfuric acid. The amount of voltage produced by an individual cell is very small. To increase the total voltage of the lead acid battery, six to seven individual cells are dipped in the acid bath in series connection to arrive at the required voltage. All right, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the section below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.